One of the new typography features in CorelDRAW 2020 is support for variable fonts. These are fonts which enable you to change features such as width, slant, weight, or many other features depending on the font without having to choose another font in the font family. As you'll see, some of the variable font options can be quite creative. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on Corel's Discovery Center. Here you can also download a written copy of this tutorial. When you choose a font family, such as Century, you can then choose one of the preset font styles in the font family. Variable fonts go beyond the familiar font style options. A variable font is essentially a collection of styles, in which there is one default master style and several options for how to deviate from that master style. As an example, the text in this document is in the Skia family, which is a variable font included with Mac iOS. I can recognize variable fonts by this icon in the fonts list, which is a variation of the open type font icon. There are several font styles in this family, with a range of letter spacing and weight. But because this is a variable font, I can adjust the text spacing and weight in real time without having to try out all of these font styles one by one. In addition to the familiar bold, italic, and underline icons, variable fonts also have this variable fonts icon. Clicking this icon opens the menu of sliders that control the various features of the font, in this case, width and weight. I'll condense the text with the width slider and increase its weight. This fine tuning enables me to get exactly the look I want without having to rely on one of the preset styles in the font family. To narrow my font list to show only variable fonts, I'll click the filter icon and under font technology, I'll check variable fonts. I'll switch to graduate, an open source font, which is freely available, which has several styles. I'll try bold condensed. This font has many properties that can be adjusted. First, I'll decrease letter thickness in the X direction, enlarge details in the Y direction, and reduce the serif. The beauty of variable fonts is that each font style is just a starter point. I could choose any font style in the family and use the sliders to produce the same look. If I switch to Graduate Extra Light, I can use the sliders to get just about what I had before. For another example, I'll try out the variable font Science Gothic, another free open source font. There are dozens of styles here, and again, it doesn't really matter which I choose. My options here are to change weight, width, and contrast. To save the current font settings to use again, I'll right click on the text and choose Object Styles, New Style From, Character. I'll name this style Science Gothic Custom, and now it appears as a style in the Object Styles Inspector. Now I can apply this style to other text strings. To use this style in other documents, I can use the Import Export icon to export the style sheet. Then I'd use the same icon to import. This brings us to the end of this tutorial on variable fonts in CorelDRAW. If you've been watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on Corel's Discovery Center. Here you can also download a written copy of this tutorial.